Hello, it's Madrilla, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to fix Minecraft's audio issue. Whether you are playing on any version, this should fix it. Um, if you're playing 1.12, there is an audio issue where you need to replace some stuff. But it also works for Discord's Nostalgia Client, which is what I'm focusing on here. But it works the same, it seems, for both. So it probably will work. Try this out, and then if something else doesn't work, just go scrub the internet. You'll find something, hopefully, eventually. Anyway, so the way I figured this out, first of all, is if I launch this batch file, which... It's just literally this. Um, you just, when you launch the game, if you go over here, you'll notice that it says right, oh, it's done. Right up here, it says starting up sound system, and then it says it cannot find something. And then it says this, this error in this class. So what I was just searching up is after I figured out what the issue was, was I found this article. And if I pull it up, Basically, in this article, it details how to, and I'll leave it in the description, but basically, what you have to do is, of course, quit out of your game. So what you want to do is you want to go, and you want to go, go into your percent, app data percent, go over to normal Minecraft. You want to grab, from, you want to install a version that, uh, a version like 1.13 through 1.16 that has... Uh, the in libraries will in fact have it. I recommend uh, I use 1.16.5 for this, so just install that, and then once you do that, you don't have to worry about uh, once you start the game, it should have all the stuff you need, and then you can just use it. All right, so first you go libraries, org, uh, lightweight Java library, you go to OpenAL 3.2.2, go into here, you open it with 7-zip, which uh, I recommend. I'm not going to give a thing a description, but 7-zip is better than WinRAR because it's free and it won't nag you constantly. Anyway, now you're in here, you'll see see these two things. What you want to do with these two is you want to copy paste these to your desktop because we literally all we have to do from here, we're not editing them. We rename them to first of all you want to remove this part because otherwise it won't be a DLL. And then once you do that, you have your 32-bit version and you have your 64-bit version. Now you want to name your six this one to 64. Now you have your two DLLs. Now what you want to do is in your Discord's uh, client, you want to go into your bin, your natives, and you want to grab these two. These are your bad ones. You don't want these in your in your bin. Delete them, replace them in here. Now what you'll notice, assuming that something weird doesn't happen, if we go into DNC and we launch it, of course, we're going to leave the console open so you can see. Uh, oop. that and then if we do this launch game notice how instead it says starting up sound system and then it works it doesn't give an error so now you can actually have your audio and it will work that's all you need to do see you guys in another video bye guys